have or put no confidence in the flesh. The Word of God says in Philippians 3 and 3, For we are the circumcision which worship God in the Spirit, and rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh. Paul was establishing this fact that yes I am circumcised yes I am a Jew but I am not trusting in that fact but rather what I am trusting in is my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and as the word says I worship God in the spirit you see there are those who worship God in the spirit and there are those who worship God in the natural. When you worship a God in the natural, you're not worshiping God whatsoever. You see, that's why Paul, or in the days of old, they established altars where God would meet with man by his spirit at that worship place, at that altar. But now, dearly beloved, things have changed drastically. Jesus Christ said... I will go to the Father that I might send you the Spirit, that the Spirit might dwell and live on the inside of you. So we don't have to make an established place. That place now that we have is a place of fellowship, a place where we may worship together. But what we have to understand is now we have become our fleshly bodies, get this now, has become the tabernacle of God. Amen? So we have to understand that so wherever believers are, though it's in the park, though it's in a, uh, a building or in the mall or in a swimming pool, it doesn't matter where they're at. When believers come together, they now or the worship place of God. Because in them, hallelujah, in them, get this now, in them they have become God's temple. And so when man tried to establish the fact that, oh, I go to church in order that I might worship God, he or she is missing the greatest part of life. And that is this, that you are now the temple of the living God. The word says very clearly that God does not dwell in a place made by the hands of man. And even much so now in the day that we live today. And so that's why Paul could say, I am worshiping God in spirit and I rejoice in the fact of Jesus Christ of what he has established for me. And I have no confidence in my flesh. Glory be to God. So it is the spirit within us. And then we don't put no confidence in this flesh whatsoever. Because why we don't put confidence in that flesh? Because the flesh cannot get us what we ultimately need. Jesus Christ said, no flesh shall inherit the kingdom of God. Now, dearly beloved, get this point here. That we are living in a society of self-help focus. There are so many that are telling us that we can do it ourselves. We can pull ourselves up by our own bootstraps. Dearly beloved, that is the greatest lie the greatest hoax ever perpetrated against the mind of mankind. Because it put him into a part where he realized or he thinks he no longer needs God. And when he gains certain things, he looks at other people and began to believe that somehow he is better than them. Did it, beloved? It is a travesty when we begin to think that we are better than someone else. We are on 
a spiral on our way downward, away from our established relationship with Christ. Dearly beloved, the Lord bless you. He keep you this day.